Hey friends, welcome back for another video today. Today's video is going to be fun because I have some cleaning hacks that are going to change the way you clean your home forever. They are game changers, my most favorite TikTok cleaning hacks that I have learned over the past several months, and I am going to share them with you. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start in the kitchen and then move into the bathroom. Those are the areas that we are going to be focusing today, the kitchen and the bathroom, and they're actually the dirtiest places in most of our houses. So starting in the kitchen, the first tip that I have for you guys is how to effortlessly clean your garbage disposal. I have a friend who is actually a professional cleaner. Well, she's a friend of a friend. And she told me that this is hands down the best way to clean your garbage disposal. So all you're going to need for this is some baking soda, white distilled vinegar, and some boiling hot water. The first thing you're going to do is just dump an entire box. This is about two cups of baking soda into your sink and let that sit for a few minutes before adding the vinegar. And then after about five minutes, we're going to add about a third of this big jar of vinegar or one total little bottle of vinegar. And we're going to let that sit for a few minutes before we dump some boiling water. I just did an entire pot down the drain. This will make your garbage disposal so fresh and clean and get rid of any stink that is in it for weeks. It is good to do this about once a month. The second tip I have for you guys today actually came from one of you guys. I can't remember who left me this comment, but if you're watching this video, comment down below and take credit for your hack because this is gold. It is if you have light colored cabinets or countertops or anything like that, you can use hand sanitizer to get the stains out. So I have white countertops and I get a ton of stains on them, especially with like juice for the kids or just cooking or whatever. And I mentioned it in one of my videos and someone told me to use hand sanitizer and it has been a game changer. This one is so easy and so effective. You can see here that I have some red stains from juice and stuff like that from the day. And all I'm going to do is take some of my trusty hand sanitizer and squirt a few drops around each of those stains. And then let that sit for about five minutes before I take a paper towel and wipe it off. It is literally that easy and you are gonna see how well it cleans. I'm going to streak, look at that. Look how it just wiped off. Look at the difference in the cleanliness of the counter as I am wiping that off. And I'm even gonna use it to clean up that little coffee stain that I didn't even put any hand sanitizer on. This is the number one trick that you should take from this video. If you have stains on anything white, use hand sanitizer to get it off. And thank me later for giving you guys this tip. This next one I actually got from a YouTuber. I can't remember what video I watched it in, but years ago I found this trick on YouTube and I've been using it ever since. This is a way that you can very easily clean any small spot in your home. So the crevice between your countertop and your refrigerator or your air vents or the bottom um, paneling of your refrigerator, anywhere that is tough to get a normal cleaning brush in, this will do the trick. It is probably my favorite trick ever. For this one, all you need is a knife and some disinfectant wipes. And we are gonna use those two things to clean all of these tiny little crevices that you can't reach with just the wipe on its own. All you need to do is take a knife, take a disinfectant wipe or a paper towel, whatever you wanna use, wrap it around the knife, and then you can slide the knife in pretty much any space that is hard to reach and it will clean it for you 
easily and effortlessly. My favorite way to use this is definitely in this space between my stovetop and my counter. So much food and dirt and grime gets in there while we are cooking and we don't even realize it. So I like to be sure to do this little trick about once a week just so I don't have any buildup of like grease and food. We don't realize how much drops down in that space until we start to clean it regularly trust me. But there are plenty of other places in your home that you can use this trick. You can use it in your air vent, um, the little slits in your air vent to get all of the dust out of there. Or another way that I like to use it is on the bottom um, like vent part of the refrigerator. So again, so much dirt gets in these areas, especially us with having two dogs. You can see the dog hair on the refrigerator right there. Piper is a major shedder and, you know, stuff gets in all of these spaces very easily. So this trick has definitely helped me to be able to keep these areas clean. These are the areas that we definitely don't think about cleaning as often, but that we definitely need to clean. So this trick definitely works. I highly recommend trying this one out. It is one of my favorites. And that is what the refrigerator looks like after we have cleaned it. And now it's good for, again, probably about a month. This next one is probably my favorite tip that I have gotten off of TikTok. It is a easy way to clean your mirrors and your windows and get you a nice, even streak free clean. Now for this one, I use the Spray Way Glass Cleaner. This is definitely the one that everybody recommends using. And then these are little cleaning cloths that I get from the dollar store. And I put one of those on my Swiffer, spray down my windows or my mirrors or wherever you need to have a nice, even clean shine and scrub away. It is that easy. Now you also could use a microfiber cloth on this, but I like how these clean. Um, I do usually switch it out and go over it one more time with a clean one, but this provides such a streak free clean and with dirty little hands and dogs touching everything all the time. I'm very thankful for this trick. Um, and then I use it in my bathrooms, on my outdoor windows, literally everywhere. Again, I wish I could remember where I got this trick from, but it is definitely one of the ones that has saved me so much time cleaning. The final tip that I have for you guys is actually one that came from my mother-in-law. It is a way to effortlessly keep your shower clean at all times. None of us like cleaning our shower. It's dirty and grimy and the soap scum is so hard to get off. And if you use this trick, then you will have to clean your shower a lot less often. And trust me, you will thank me for this one. Okay, y'all, this is the hack of the day by far. So I'm just showing you guys how filthy my bathtub and shower were to begin with. I did not do this hack last week when I cleaned this, so this was a full week of dirt. I wanted to be able to show you guys the difference that this makes in your life. So this is what my shower looked like before with no cleaning hack going on. So all I'm going to use to clean the actual shower is just some disinfectant cleaner from Sam's Club and some Dawn, um, but the Sam's Club version, I put that in a um, spray bottle with a little bit of water or no, a little bit of the cleaner with a lot of water. And I am just going to take that and spray it all over my shower and let it sit for about 20 minutes before I scrub it off. Now this is not the hack, this is just how I actually clean my shower, um, but I've heard of people doing vinegar with Dawn and that works well as well. I just personally don't love the smell of vinegar so I don't clean with it, um, but I know that it is very helpful for cleaning for sure. But this is the way that I do it. I spray this on here, pretty much the entire bottle goes on, and then I let it sit for about 20 minutes before I scrub it off with a cleaning, I have a cleaning sponge that I use, which is just a regular sponge that I have designated as a cleaning sponge. I use it a few times, wash in the dishwasher, and then um, get a new one. So here I am just scrubbing it clean, just to make sure that we have a nice clean surface to try out this hack for or with. Um, this is definitely my least favorite chore in the entire world. I hate cleaning the shower, which is what makes this hack so 
useful. And I, all of my friends, when we talk about like chores and cleaning, they all hate cleaning their showers. Um, my one friend makes sure that her cleaning lady will clean her shower because she will not like, she hates cleaning her shower. She won't do it. So just scrubbing all of the little areas that again, I hate doing and hopefully won't have to do for weeks. And this is what my shower looks like. Once we have cleaned it, we have a nice clean surface. And now it is time to finally try out the hack. This is a way that you can perfectly reduce the amount of soap scum that you get on your shower. All you have to do is take some disinfectant cleaner, spray a good layer on. I use about half a can on my shower and let that sit for until it dries. And then you, your shower will develop much less soap scum over the course of several weeks, you will not have to give it a good scrub. I hope that you enjoyed this cleaning hacks video. If you've tried some of these hacks before, let me know how you like them down below. If you try some going forward, come back and let me know how you like them as well. And if you have any cleaning hacks for me, leave those down below because I am always looking for ways to very quickly clean my house. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Bye guys.